guys, today we are playing the smartest alter deck. Uh, is it actually the smartest alter deck? Uh, no. Um, but it is mono blue. Uh, with seven neutral cards. Um, you can't really make this uh, a 50 card, like, 50 blue card deck. Um, because, you know, obviously alt is neutral. And at that point I thought I might as well just, like, uh, throw in a few more neutral cards just to... Um, yeah, just to, like, bring the deck together a bit. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, pretty much, pretty much all I have to say about that before the deck explanation. So if you want to skip ahead to the gameplay, uh, there will be chapters in the description. Um, but for those who want to stick around, um, and listen to the deck explanation, uh, then I'm, uh, I'm just gonna, you know, go through my card choices, uh, so you know what's, what's going on, basically. <coughs> Okay, first up in our one slot we have uh, Midnight Trespasser, 2-2 uh, two, two for 1, which is already pretty good, and then Summon Consume a Creature to gain plus 1, plus 1. Um, so you're essentially getting a 3-3 three, three for 1, which is, you know, highly above the curve uh, stat line. Um, and you're pulling this 100% uh, of the time from uh, your first altar. There will always be something uh, for Midnight Trespasser to consume when you pull it off altar, uh, because obviously you sacrifice a creature, Midnight Trespasser comes out, and then you um, consume the creature you sacrificed, and you get a 3-3 for 1. Um, you know, in addition to that, we also have Crocodile Brute and Imbued Breton in the deck, which are just going to help us get some more value out of our Midnight Trespasser. Uh, speaking of which, next up we have Crocodile Brute, uh, 2 cost 2-2. Two, two. Uh, prophecy, when a Crocodile Brute is consumed, draw a card. Uh, the Prophecy effect is, you know, it's sometimes handy. Um, a 2-2 two, two for 2 is fine, you know, not great, not terrible. Um, and the draw power that we can get with Midnight Trespass is just a pretty nice thing to have in the deck. We don't have a whole lot of draw power, um, so it just helps cycle through, <clears throat> find our altar, stuff like that. High Rock Summoner, uh, a 1-1 one, one for 2. Someone put a random Atronach into your hand. Uh, we have a bit of Atronach synergy going on in terms of um, Conjuration Tutor, uh, so I wanted to make good use of that. Plus, like in a deck where you don't have access to uh, Thieves Guild Recruit or anything like that, <clears throat> I think that uh, just having High Rock Summoner as a uh, two drop that draws you a card um, is pretty good. Plus, Atronachs are like usually useful most of the time. So I just thought it made sense to run this card. Uh, we have Luzra Groshar. Um, when you summon a creature with 6 cost or more, both Luzra and that creature gain plus 1, plus 1. Um, Luzra is fine to play on like turn 2 just to contest stuff in the early game. Um, but really you want her to be like hanging around for when you're getting, uh, you know, Conjuration Tutors procced. You know, they're going to shuffle Lava Atronachs into the deck. Luzra buffs onto them. If you can duplicate them with Conjuration Tutor while you have Luzra on the field, that's, you know, extra value. So Luzra just combos really well with our top end, uh, especially if we have an altar on the field while we're doing that. Uh, Mythic Dawn Informer. 2-1 uh, for 2. Uh, last gas, put a random Daedra into your hand. Uh, obviously we are an altar deck, so we want to be sacrificing stuff, uh, which makes the last gasp effect on the Mythic Dawn Informer a bit more beneficial, because we alter her away pull a creature from our deck, and we get a random Daedra. And, you know, there's the potential to pull something like, uh, you know, Seething Flesh Golem, uh, Zavara Atronach, um, Iron Atronach, um, the Sunken one. These can all be duplicated by Conjuration Tutor, you know, as unlikely as it is that you'll get one of those. That's just a little, you know, bit of potential for Synergy there, and it's a pretty solid card in general, so I thought, you know, why not? Uh, Temple Conjurer. 2-2 uh, two, two for 2, Exalt 3, summon a 5-3 Flame Atronach with Breakthrough. Um, <clears throat> really want to be playing this uh, with the Exalt effect. It might seem like a strange uh, choice of card because um, when you pull a 2-drop from your deck with the Altar, uh, the Exalt isn't going to proc. Um, but I think that's fine. Uh, I think, you know, my thinking behind this is you play this, you Exalt it, and then you Alter away the 2-2 two, two Temple Conjurer body which leaves you with the Atronach and something else. Um, and, you know, if you pull 
uh, the 2-2 Temple Conjurer off of your altar is in the end of the world. I mean, that's fairly unlikely anyway, because we have, like, a few 2-drops. Um, but yeah, just something to keep in mind, I guess. Uh, Channeled Storm. Uh, 3 cost action, deal 3 damage to your creature and uh, empower, plus 1 damage. Just a really good source of removal. Um, you can, you know, quickly get this up to, like, 5 damage, which can take care of a lot of things. Um, you can combo it with uh, Ancano. Uh, to kill people, I've done that before. And yeah, just a really solid card. Uh, Cunning Ally. Uh, summon and put a Firebolt into your hand if the top card of your deck is Intelligence. Obviously 43 Intelligence cards, so this is going to proc pretty much all the time. You know, not 100%. Um, so keep that in mind, I guess. Um, but it is pretty likely that you'll get a Firebolt from it. Uh, Elusive Schema. 314, summon, draw a card, last gasp, shuffle a zero cost elusive schema into our deck. Um, just here for more cycle value. Um, elusive schema is just a pretty solid card to have in general. Uh, and we can alter it away, shuffle another one into our deck, so that's nice to have. Uh, Icy Shambles, um, 2 3 for 4, shackle creatures damaged by Icy Shambles, and summon deal 2 damage to a creature. This is a card I really like. Um, it functions as a removal. Um, but can also stall your opponent with the Shackle effect. Uh, it's just a better um, Ash Berserker, really. Not Ash Berserker, Ash Servant. Uh, wrong card. Uh, anyway, next up we have Lightning Bolt. Uh, four cost action, Prophecy deal for damage. Uh, I'm assuming you all know you know, why Lightning Bolt is a great card. Uh, I don't think I need to explain this. Uh, Piercing Twilight. Um... 4-4-4-4 four, 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 guard, summon, choose a card in your opponent's discard pile, banish all cards from your opponent's discard pile and deck with the same name as the chosen card, uh, gets rid of nasty stuff, completely counters uh, Midnight Burial, uh, which is a card I despise. Um, so yeah, I just like Piercing Twilight. Uh, Imbued Breton. 4-4-5 uh, with Ward, when Imbued Breton is consumed, give the consuming creature plus 1, plus 1 and Ward. Mainly here for the consume synergy with Midnight Trespasser. Um, but also I think a 4-4 four, four, uh, for 5 uh, with Ward is fine. I think Ward's a really uh, good keyword, it's really annoying to deal with. Um, and you know, unlike something like uh, Glenumbra Sorceress, uh, Imbued Breton doesn't die to curse, so better in that respect, I guess. Um, then we have Altar of Despair, of course, uh, which is a 6 cost support with 12 uses. Activate, sacrifice a creature to summon a creature from your deck that costs 1, then increase the cost of creatures this summons by 1. Uh, so you can work your way up the uh, curve of your deck with Altar, basically. Um, which we are pretty equipped to do. Um, consistently up to 7. Uh, after you get to like 8, there's a chance that you've drawn stuff, um, so you might not be getting extreme amounts of value. But by that point your opponent's probably removed it or you've won the game, so I think that's fine. Um, but yeah, uh, Conjuration Tutor, 3-3 uh, three, three for 6, summon shuffle 3 Lava Atronachs into your deck. When you summon an Atronach, uh, summon a copy of it in the other lane. <coughs> Now you might be wondering why we're not running uh, Alfik Conjurer in the deck, uh, considering we've got both Consume Synergy and Atronach Synergy. Uh, the reason for that is that we want Conjuration Tutor to be our only um, 6 cost creature, so that we pull it with the altar, we pull a Conjuration Tutor 100% of the time, it shuffles a lot of Atronachs in our deck, and then uh, you'll notice that we have no 7 uh, drop creatures, that's because we want to be pulling the Lava Atronox uh, with our altar. Um, so that's just a fun little uh, combo that we got going on there. Uh, and also Conjuring Tutor, as I mentioned, works with High Rock Summoner, potentially Mythic Dawn Informer, and uh, Supreme Atromancer and Temple Conjurer. Uh, so yeah. Ice Storm, uh, 6 cost action, deal 3 damage to all creatures. Uh, Ice Storm's just a really solid card and a really nice way to clear the board. Sometimes it absolutely stomps what your opponent's doing, uh, so it's just worth running. Uh, Ancano, uh, Breakthrough, Summon, deal 5 damage, your actions have Breakthrough. Ancano is just a really solid card, really good 8 drop to have in our altar. Uh, combos with Lightning Bolt, combos with Channel's 
Channel Storm potentially combos with uh, the Firebolt that Cunning Ally generates, but you know I wouldn't expect a whole lot of breakthrough value out of that. Uh, Indoral Archmage, the only other uh, A-drop in your deck. 6-6 six, six Guard, Last Gasp deals 6 damage to all enemy creatures in this lane. Really powerful defensive card. Uh, obviously you, ul you can alter it away, um, which will trigger the Last Gasp effect immediately, and then you'll pull something else. Uh, so that's just pretty cool. Uh, Larneth, uh, summon, draw a card of your choice from your deck. <clears throat> just a, you know, solid card. You can pull anything you want. So quite self-explanatory. Uh, Supreme Atromancer, uh, 3 3 for 10, summon, summon a Flame Atronach in each lane when you summon another creature, deal 2 damage to your opponent. Just a really great card to like finish off uh, your opponent uh, if you're like getting into the late game and things are dragging on a bit. Maybe your opponent's clinging on for dear life. Uh, Supreme Atromancer will probably finish things up pretty quickly. Uh, as will the Vaith Fear. The 6-6 six, six, uh, for 11, summon, deal 6 damage to a random enemy at the start of your turn. Devaith Fear summons a Daughter of Fear, and the Daughter of Fear uh, also deals 6 damage to a random enemy when summoned. So, you know, between Supreme and Transfer, Devaith Fear, and Kano, uh, Lightning Bolt, we have, you know, a fair amount of ways to just generate quite large amounts of burst damage. Uh, and finally, in our 12th slot, we have Odaving. Uh, summon deal 4 damage to all enemy creatures. You know, ideally, <laughs> I would have had Iron Atronach in the uh, the 12 slot, because it just combos better with the stuff that we got going on. Uh, but, you know, I wanted to stick to the mono blue um, as much as it might hinder the deck. Uh, I just think Alter Sorcerer isn't quite as interesting as Alter of Intelligence. Uh, and yeah, I'm just, you know, playing this deck for a fun little experiment. Uh, so yeah, that's the uh, the deck. I uh, hope you guys enjoy, and we will get into some gameplay. Okay, we're up against uh, Banditu. Um, <clears throat> they are the champion of the arena, and they are on a 100 card. Um, Dominion deck. Uh, this is an okay hand. Uh, I'm keeping all of this as a cunning ally. Mm, let's see if our opponent has... The war claws and their pain. War claw mercenary, okay. <clears throat> I think I'm going to play my crocodile brute just because of the potential midnight trespasser value. They are gonna get a rally off, but I don't think that's a huge deal. This doesn't really tell us what sort of deck we're dealing with. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna draw a card. So let's we'll grow Shah. We'll just play out our Mythic Dawn Informer. Uh, in the field lane. Hopefully we trade into this and then pivot over to here. Need some help? Blade Stewart. This one is embarrassed. <laughs> nah, unlucky man. Um I Well no time for fools. So much left. Cunning ally probably finished. triggers right. So let's shed some yeah. light on the problem. Get away. Let's pull a Daedra. He's ever like Warlord. Pretty good. It's something we can play at least. If we need to. Uh, no play from our opponent. Is there anything we want to get rid of? Hmm. Honestly, I don't think so. Let's I'm fine with um, <clears throat> what's going on at the moment. So if they have reverberating strike, uh, that's annoying. Shall we put in a Doesn't seem like a reverberating bed. strike kind of deck. Die, sweet, but, uh, die, sweet. Channeled storm on this. Uh, pass the turn. Thank you. 
opponent has a crushing blow. Passes the turn. There's Ancano. Crushing blow is something I might want to get rid of. I have you now. I think I'd rather just get my Temple Conjurer out though. Yeah. Just playing it over here in case they have Immolating Blast. We're also one turn away from Dawn's Wrath. So we want to minimize the amount of value they can get out of those. Minimize Webat. Wild Boar. Bewildering Speed. Okay. Okay. Well. I have you now. It's just face a little bit. Opponent hits a prophecy. Is it a lightning bolt? Okay. Um. I think I'm into just Ancanoing this. Oh, opponent hits another prophecy. This is kind of unfortunate. Oh, it's just a Darren Cup pass. That's fine. So we uh, trade, trade, and uh, then we swing lightning bolt. Okay, uh, that's fine. Another moonlight web out, which we can just fireball. So we have Zivali Warlord and lightning bolt for reach. I'll take you all down with me. Da, da, de, da. No, that's not right. So that's seven damage we have from hand, so if we connect with either of these creatures then we win. Fresh start. Leaves him with three magicka. Crushing blood, okay. So no. Get out of my way. Uh good game. Well thought. Looks like some sort of burn deck. I'm not really sure. Uh, but good game. Good game. Okay, we're up against the Jackal. Uh, they are the Resplendent. And they are on <clears throat> 75 card House Lavi deck. I will throw back the Midnight Trespasser. And there's Crocodile Brute. Could be uh, Pilfer Lalu. Or just regular Aggro Lalu. Um, but we'll see. Let's see what they have in store for us. Um, they are taking their time to think about their card choices, which is fair enough, I suppose. Okay. Let's just get down a high rock somewhere, I think. It's all Metronach. It's pretty good. Saran Pawnbroker. Alright, well. Just gonna play the brute over here because it doesn't trade very well with that. <clears throat> so, what does the curse say? Could be some kind of Swindler's Market deck. Or just like a plot deck, I guess. But we shall see what card they got off of this. 
I feel like the zero cost card pool has gotten worse uh, over time. Because like if you get something like Dive Rock Fall, uh, you're not really going to be able to do anything with that. Uh, so we'll just have to hope that they got something sh shitty. Um. My business is not a has decided to play the game. I'm inclined to remove their curses. Probably devalues uh, the goblin skulk that they're almost certainly running. I feel like it does not require this much time to like decide what you're gonna do. Like I know sometimes I just play shit without like thinking about it, but like even even then, I don't think you need to be like waiting for the turn timer to start before you play something. I just feel like it's bad manners, you know. And no play. Just an elusive schema as cunning ally. Could uh, set up our altar next turn if we want to ring it out. Although I'm not sure that's the best idea. I mean, we'll see. Depends what our friend here is doing. Uh, other than other than uh, a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Yeah, the Mountain Lion does suggest, like, a plot deck or something, but I guess it could work for market as well. Okay. Um... I think I just alter. Uh, sacrifice the Brute will bring us our Trespasser, which then consumes the Brute and draws us a card. Very nice. You see, it's just like a Brotherhood Assassin, but without... Uh, being lethal. My arrows fly uh, Alina but not. Sure. Let's shed some light on the problem. Let's firewall this. Play on Mythic Dawn Informer. Uh so we pull our Temple Conjurer, which is a bit unfortunate. But that's fine. We can just Alter it away next turn. How can a Crassius favor? Your I guess it is plot halalu. Let's see if we can reach an arrangement. Pretty cool to be honest. Have business with House Halalu. I have you now. Hmm. Ice storm is Good. I'm not sure it's what we want to be doing, really. You are not worthy. Let's just alter this way. Let's shed some it's a cunning ally. I will firebolt this. Play conjuration shooter. <laughs> Keeps thanking me. Whenever I play a firebolt. Not sure what's up with that, but you know, you do you. Time to fight. Lord Firebrand. Hello, Trade. Let's see if we can't reach. Lower Cannon Smith. 
and Let's nothing. begin the lesson. This is four, so I think I just sacrificed the nest. A grievous error. Okay. <laughs> we must protect our strong. Friend Jackal is very fond of the emo button. Uh, they finally get rid of our altar, which is unfortunate, but that's fine. Uh, I can just clear the board. Uh, I could red year. Lava Atronach does survive the red year. So I think I'm okay to play it. We must protect our strong. Another Dushnik Yala Archer. You have a leaf lurker? Yeah. Okay. So I'm uh, I'm losing patience. I'm just gonna get aggressive. What a pity. What a pity. So true. <laughs> so in terms of reach we have Lightning Bot on Ancano. If I Ancano this it breaks the rune anyway. It's not Worth doing, really. I do think I just Ancano their face. I think that is the correct play here. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> so we did, uh, we did get some good use of our out of our altar uh, this game, uh, which I'm pretty pleased with. They could still red here, but uh, we win if they do that. Anasi finds it useful to use Anasi. Crusader's assault. Do you mock sure. There's another altar. Have business with House Horn Broker. Daggers in the dark. Okay. This one is destined for greatness. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, good game, man. Okay, we're up against. <clears throat> so far, so good. What? Is this a reference that I don't get? Now uh, they are the troublemaker and they are on a 76 card kill sworn deck. Throw this all back. So we'll see what kind of uh, kill sworn deck this is. Uh, this is an uh, abominable starting hand. I really don't want to play a naked trespasser. Orcs at the ready. Although just to contest that, it's probably worth it. Yeah. It's only illegal if oh well. Cool. It's not the biggest loss I in the world. Viewed Minotaur. I have no time. Uh, I will just channel storm that. <clears throat> Take five power off the board. This looks like an ice storm where ice. <laughs> This looks like an, a matchup where Ice Storm's gonna be good. Considering uh, the fragile bodies that they've put down. Hmm. I wonder if they're actually using the uh, consumer factor or if they're just running it for the stat line. Looks pretty aggressive. They might be running Enraged Dragon Knight. I will be triumphant. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we just line them all that. Oh shit, I can't. I can summon a swing lightning bolt next turn.
uh, whenever the next turn is going to take place. I'll see roping seems to be a really common thing these days. Oh, I don't know why. <laughs> like, <laughs> the Elder Scrolls Legends community is like so small at this point. Like, <laughs> just be kind to each other, guys. Come on. I say it's small, like, it's not small, small. But, like, I think we just need to do everything we can to, like, just keep the game, you know, fun to play. <laughs> like, don't just rope on other people. And, you know, maybe there's a good reason for so far so good, so what, uh, to be doing what they're doing. But, um, you know, if there isn't, and if you're watching this video, uh, it's not really worth it. I see you're in need of my wisdom. The Royal Sage gets guard, that gets ward. Fear the bite of my spear! Okay. Hmm. Okay. So I God think strike you. I will fault this. Poke him a little bit. Still not a lot of uh, trespasser value, but I think that's okay. I was considering just swinging my uh, brute in for the sake of drawing a card, but I think it's more valuable uh, in breaking the ward on this. And then if we need to, we can swing Ice Storm. There is nowhere for you to run. I have and Ice Storm is looking pretty good. I'm not worried about wasting it really because uh, we have a double ice storm. Uh, the kind reef champion deals three damage to us, but uh, that's fine. Triumphant Yarl kind of sucks for us. That's okay. My friend would like to say hello. Another frost atronach. Blood running hot. Hail the Huntress. Uh, sure thing. Sure thing. I think getting rid of Triumph and Yours is pretty good. Just stop them drawing cards as much as we can. Can Lanith for altar if we want. Doesn't seem super worthy there. Oh, okay. I'm ready for the hunt. So I think we just swing Ice Storm. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend destroying this. <laughs> uh, that's just my opinion. But I would not do that in this situation. Have another. I will. When Lord Dagon comes, I won't need to hide any longer. And the Relarch Mage is pretty good. Although I have a feeling we're going to be overwhelmed by the amount of reach in that deck.
But, you know, we'll see. Well, hopefully we'll see uh, at some point, some point today. Would be nice. I think we could do quite a bit with nine magicka. But, uh... <laughs> okay. Oh, well, there's Alter. I will consume a Crocodile Brute. Uh, there's a Temple Conjurer. Just get down a couple more bodies, I guess. Uh, I don't know what's happened to our opponent. Maybe they've been kidnapped. <laughs> there is uh I have no time for fools. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna Get away. stop poking him, really. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll play the base there. What is it? Revered Guardian. It's kind of interesting. I didn't check how many cards they were on, did I? Oh yeah, I did. I think. Oh yeah, my opponent's just like uh, vanished. Uh, <laughs> don't know what happened there. <laughs> uh, but good game, I guess. Okay, our opponent is RVM18. They are the Forgotten Hero, and they are on a uh, 50 card Burn Assassin deck, because <laughs> it's probably Burn Assassin. Um, yeah, it should be fun. Uh, double Ice Storm again. Ooh. Like totems. My friend would like to say hello. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing it's fact totems, they might just be running crabs. Friend. Okay. God strike you. I'm gonna just channeled storm that. Might play a crocodile brute over here just to set up for the ice storm. Yourself now. Wow. Okay, double ward craft. Uh, breath, imbecile. I'm okay with sacrificing da, Lazaro. Da, da, de, da. No, that's not right. It's for the good of the team. <laughs> Your blood will spill. Yeah, Your opponent is not interested in spill. taking trades. Uh, okay. yeah, okay. Crabs. Sure. One well terror. No ice storm I'll this time. Yet. I will just play out my frost atronach to absorb some of the damage. into that. <laughs> uh, 
And we have another one in reserve. Plus a lightning Can bolt. Glass yeah. stable master. Okay. We just want to keep them from uh, having a board presence, because uh, if they do, then they can just um, equip the heavy battle arts. Pretty good thing to get off of uh, Mod Crab Merchant, Alfred Zealot. I think it's a cool card to be honest. Doesn't see uh, too much play. It was in my Treasure Hunt Halalu deck though. Uh, yeah, I think it's a cool card. I wouldn't recommend running Heavy Battle Axe by its own though, unless it's Arena. Because a lot of. Uh, a lot of, like. Conventionally, not good cards are good in arena. I mean, yeah. Like Barrow Stalker is like crazy good in constructed, but you have to be like careful about drafting it in an arena deck. Hunt does not appear to be particularly happy about the uh, ten of events. Is uh, unfortunate, I suppose. We are just gonna get the altar train rolling. They shouldn't have a way to remove it. Okay, Clanfair Runt. Okay. And we draw another Ice Storm. Proton appears to have given up. <laughs> uh, unfortunately. I'm not here to hurt you, but I will. They have prophecy. I think I actually have a quest for uh, beast form, so <laughs> yeah, thanks for that, I guess. <laughs> Alter away the Clanfer, Mythic Dawn Informer. I think Formwell Terror is actually a really cool card. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Good game, I guess. <laughs> Okay, opponent is uh, the jackal. Our battle ended 500 years ago. Well, now I'm ready for a rematch. Uh, again. And they're on 75 card Empire deck. Let's uh, let's do this. I'm actually going to check my footage to like <laughs> see what they were on. Yeah, they were on uh, Halalu before, but I guess they changed their mind. Uh, if this is Greedy Control Empire, we could be in for a long game. Mm. Okay. I am not super excited about that, but see how it goes. Fabricate's pretty cool. I will just kill that and pass a turn. 
training grounds. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna ring out the imbue ground. Edict. Sure thing. So let's you Irox Summoner first. Cunning Ally. Let's shed some light on the problem. This deck is surprisingly good at generating resources. Training Grounds is really interesting actually. Wow, oh, yeah. <laughs> Fabricants. Fabricant tribal. I stand ready. Uh, and Sly Marsh Blade. <laughs> sure. I am here for it. I am absolutely here for it. What? Boom. Boom. That's not right. Okay. Yeah. Fabricants. Doesn't trigger the uh Wow, oh, and Transistor Shrine? What a fucking cool ass deck. <laughs> I'll get this yet! I think I'll just trade these in here. This will buff up Luzra as well. I should have played this first really, so that I swung for like a bit more damage, but it's fine. What a pity. Yep. <laughs> the always a Nasi? Okay. Sure. And Mummify. Cool. Yeah. Absolutely. Hmm. Da -dee -da -da. I have you now. I'll get this yet. Assembled conduit. So we know that the top card of their deck is uh Factoto. Squish the Wimpy? On what? I guess Lazaro probably makes the most sense. No? Okay. Huh. Uh. Factotum Fabricant. The fabricants count as fact. I don't. I'm so confused. Da, um, da, da. I'll get this yet. You've got to go through him. Fully match knock. Sure. So we can debate fear next turn, or we can just swing lightning bolt. Although they have a drain. So. Oh. Uh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. You've got to go through him thing first. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Selective automaton. Oh right, they had this on top of their deck. I figures. Three. Oh. <laughs> Maybe this isn't such a cool deck after all. It's Singleton though, I guess. <laughs> guess that's something. Let's just debate. Yeah. That's good. Although they will just play this, presumably. Yep. My family stands together. 
Hmm. It's not really what I wanted it to hit, to be honest. That's Conjuration, conjuration Tutor. Double Conjurer. What a pity. Yep. Mummify. <sighs> yep. Just forget about Grey Fox on Devay's pair. Hmm. Okay. Sure thing. We don't have lethal damage, unfortunately. Let's draw a card. Let's draw it's another card. If you get it's an altar. Don't it's underestimate me. Good. Do we have a? We do have a midnight trespasser left in the deck, and we do have a crocodile brewing the discard pile, so we can draw another card. So how bad is the Vaith there, really? I don't think it's that bad for us. I think we still win. Six sound fabrican. Shackle this. Which means they have some way to kill this, right? Oh. Okay. I think we gain two health from that. So they're not out of the woods yet. And your fact totems are pretty cool, but they're pretty weak without workshop. Also, I just realized this isn't single thing because they have two modifiers. It's was a wall. So I think we win. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Let's no us swing these no in. Javelin. This is Alter. Uh, yeah, good game. So, 2 nil against the Jackal. Uh,. Unlucky man. <laughs> Good game. Uh, hey guys, uh, thanks for making it to the end of the video. Appreciate you sticking around this long. Um, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in a comment. Uh, anything you'd like to say. Uh, and if you consider watching another video, I'd really appreciate that. Um, but that is all for today. And I will see you on the ladder.